Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube class. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. As discussed in our introduction video, uh, this is the day one, our session one of VMware Virtualization based video series. And in this session, we will discuss about a basic understanding of virtualization. So let's, uh, let's start with uh, a basic understanding, like as uh, what is virtualization? So this is the base, very common question. So you should know about, if you want to prepare yourself, you, if you want to be an expert in virtualization, so you should know about the uh, actual use, use of uh, virtualization. So as per the name suggests, the meaning of virtualization, you can say that it's also a type of technology and with the help of this technology, we are able to utilize our hardware resource. For example, you have a high, high configuration based system, laptop or desktop. So with the help of virtualization, you can utilize more in compare of single operating system because the virtualization can give you option, can give you a feature to use a single hardware with multiple operating system. Even we are able to virtualize our memory, we are able to virtualize our storage and CPU and even networking and security as well. So let's talk about the types of virtualization because it's really important. The meaning of virtualization means we will discuss about the all types of virtualization. I know we are planning to understand about the understanding of VMware vSphere 7.0 but you should know about another virtualization which is available in market. So for better understanding what I'm going to do I'm just going to categorize our virtualization in two different parts. Um, like uh, the virtualization is categorized in two different parts. You can say that one is work based and another is technology based. So work based uh, as per the name suggests means uh, why you uh, why we need to use virtualization and what are the features you can say that of virtualization. So in case of work based basically uh, with the help of virtualization we are able to manage our storage means we are able to configure uh, virtualization for storage. We can manage uh, virtualization for our memory, our CPU, our application. and we are able to configure a virtualization for our networking purpose as well. So it means that uh, if we talk about the work base, so with the help of uh, virtualization, we are able to manage our storage, we are able to manage our memory, CPU, application and networking means you are able to use the virtualization to manage these types of services or these types of resources, not services. Talk about uh, technology based. So as per the name suggests, technology based means uh, how many types of virtualization are available? So we will discuss about uh, the types of virtualization in technology based. So basically it is categorized in two different parts. I hope you, you know about. The first is hypervisor type 1. Okay. And hypervisor type 2. So it is categorized in two different parts. Let's try to understand more about the difference between hypervisor type 1 and type 2 as per the name suggests. So you can say that hypervisor type 1 is also considered as a bare metal virtualization. Okay. The meaning of bare metal, uh, try to understand. The meaning of bare metal virtualization, for example, this is, uh, you are using your laptop and, but unfortunately you don't have any operating system. You have a blank hardware, blank hardware in the sense your system is working properly, but unfortunately you don't have any operating system, right? So bare metal virtualization, you can directly install on your hardware. It is directly associated with your hardware resources. Means no need to install any kind of mediator, no need to install any kind of medium uh, software or uh, operating system. You can directly install these, uh, these virtualization directly on hardware. So we have a number of example that you can use as a bare metal, like as a, the VMware product, you know very well about ESXi, right? This is the best example of bare metal. Second, I hope you know about the Zen server. So the Zen server is the basically a uh, product of uh, Citrix and third one is hypervisor. So Hyper-V, not hypervisor, Hyper-V or hypervisor, you can say that. Hyper-V is a product of Microsoft, so you can use the Hyper-V to install directly on your base machine or hardware. Next, if we talk about type 2, so as per the name suggests, type 2 is basically considered as a hosted virtualization. In case of hosted virtualization, like uh, we must need to install your uh, software over our operating system. So in case of host virtualization or hosted virtualization, we have a number of example like as a 
the VMware product, you know that very popular product, VMware Workstation. And uh, Virtual PC. And we have an, uh, another like as a virtual box, you know that Oracle virtual box. And uh, VMware Fusion. Right, so these are the example that you can count in case of hypervisor 2. Hypervisor 1, hypervisor type 1 is considered as a bare metal virtualization and hypervisor type 2 considered as a hosted virtualization. Got it? I hope you uh, all of you understand about the concept of uh, work base and technology base. The work base means um, how you can utilize your virtualization, how you can utilize your virtual tool. So you can use the virtual tool to manage your storage. For example, you have a 10 gig of hard drive and you want to distribute the 10 gig hard drive with the multiple computer. So virtualization, with the help of virtualization, we are able to divide our storage and distribute with multiple computer. As it is, you can uh, utilize your memory, you can virtualize your memory, you can virtualize your CPU as well. So uh, this is the basic introduction of uh, what, what is virtualization. So I hope you all of you understand about the uh, um, uh, types of virtualization and why we need to use the virtualization. Next, another part, important part related to uh, virtualization. So as we discussed, we are planning to understand about VMware product means we want to, we want to uh, implement the services with the help of uh, vSphere, uh, ESXi vSphere 7.0. So let's talk about the types of uh, ESXi which is available in market. We'll try to understand about the types of uh, version of our ESXi vSphere ESXi, right? So ESXi is a basically bare metal virtualization. You know that it's a type of hypervisor type 1. And if we talk about the versions which is available in market, so n number of uh, ESXi versions are available, like as uh, uh, it started from 4.5, 5.0, okay, 5.5. Uh, 6.0, 6.5 and 6.7 and 7.0, right? So these are all are the ESXi host version. Our motto to understand about each and every features related to the uh, ESXi 7.0. So R is gender to understand about the option which is, which is available in 7.0. Let's try to understand about how we can manage the services. So if you are using your base machine, see, for example, this one is your base machine and your laptop or desktop configuration is uh, up to 8 gig of RAM, 2 core of CPU and up to 500 gig of uh, memory, 500 gig of uh, storage. So what you can do, you just need to install one tool. The tool name is VMware Workstation, okay? Because the VMware Workstation can help you to install multiple ESXi, can help you to manage your entire VMware setup. So firstly, you need to install VMware Workstation and after that, over a Workstation, we will install ESXi host. So it's really important you should create your own setup if you have a configuration. Otherwise, I'll guide you how you can uh, use the virtual setup over a cloud, over a basically internet. So online lab is also available, means you can just need to, you, you can sign up yourself over a portal and you can start using the VMware services. Clear? So this is the basic information about uh, virtualization. I hope you all of you understand about. So in next session, in next class, we will discuss about how to install ESXi on our VMware workstation. So let's connect tomorrow on same time and discuss more about uh, uh, VMware vSphere 7.0. Take care guys. Bye-bye.